I was looking at this and I was like, wow, Nolan Harrison played for the Raiders, the Steelers, and the Redskins early in the Dan Snyder era. That means that Nolan Harrison played for Al Davis, the Rooney family, and Dan Snyder. I mean, NFL owners tend to be more comfortable in shadows. And you played for three of the most public faces. I mean, other than you know, the top five to me are those three and then the two faces of Jerry Jones. Those are the top five faces <laughs> of wow. NFL owners. And you played for them. And so, first of all, I just wanted to ask you very quickly, um, Al Davis, very controversial figure, your assessment of him as an owner. Uh, he was an owner coach. He was always out there, always involved. He wants his team to win. Uh, Did he know football? Does fault. he know football? Knows football like there's nobody's business. Wow. We're in practice, and uh, we're about to play against the 49ers, Montana's quarterback, and you know they used to run that uh, that play action boot all the time, and Joe would just kill people with it. I'm coming around the corner, but I'm supposed to, you know, keep my hand on the tackle as he's going down, keep my shoulders square, and and watch, but go down and and cl- and close the gap. I hear Al yelling from down the field, Nolan, Nolan. <laughs> Now, my, my coach, Earl Leggett, God rest his soul, he was, uh, he was our coach back then, and he said, hey, coach wants to talk to you. So literally, I jog 40 yards downfield to hear what coach has to say. And everybody understands this because no other coach, not like Art Schill, was saying, hey, where are you going? I mean, they knew where I was going. I was going to go talk to coach. So he's like, oh, you got to watch the boot. You got to – Montana's going to kill us. You got to watch the – I don't care if they run the ball for 150 yards. If he comes out, you watch the boot. Kill the quarterback. <laughs> And that's oh that's what God. I did from oh. going forward. Crush it. I was not going down Just inside. I'm, I'm a little off track, taking a chance here. Are you a fan of the movie Deep Cover with Larry Fishburne? Oh, yeah. You totally, the, Al Davis sounds like Fishburne at the end. You shouldn't have done that, David. You shouldn't have done that. It's Al Davis. Well, I did, so get in the van. Okay, question. All right, now the Roonies. Impression. Give us a thumbnail sketch. What was it like playing for the Roonies? What's your impression of the Roonies? The whole organization was a family organization. I, uh, and that's real. Yep. That's not PR. You felt that. That is absolutely real. And it was a time in my life where I'd gotten married at the time, right before I got in there. So it was a real stable time for me. Absolutely loved it. Loved the environment. The city of Pittsburgh loved their defense. So I really got a kick out of playing there. Uh, but the, the family ran the team well and, and it was well loved and well liked across the league. And Snyder, who you just had at the beginning. Very beginning. And uh, he was a fan. Yeah, he, mm-hmm. he, he showed me um, in a preseason game how much of a fan he really was. Um, but, you know, the helicopters landing on the field during practice was – it took a little bit getting used to. A little getting used yeah, to. Yeah, that took a little getting used to. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we always ah, – add it's a new owner, new money. Yeah, new money. New money. So as opposed to Rooney, it's like the old money. I That's mean, right. so you really had the two extremes, Davis, Rooney. You can't get more old school than that. Dan Snyder, new blood, new era. And I'm, I went through all that, oh, loyal radio listeners, because I wanted to ask you, Nolan Harrison – if you think these owners who come from some very different backgrounds and come at the NFL from very different business experiences, do you think that they are united as one with what Roger Goodell's trying to do, threatening next season, or do you think that there is some conflict behind the scenes there? There's conflict. There's definitely conflict. There are, you know, there's hardline owners and there are moderate owners um, but that, that love their teams and they love their cities. And they don't want to put their cities and their fans through all this, but they are a collective. And um, as you've seen, sometimes when the collector speaks out, Jerry Jones, hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars fine that he got a couple of months ago. I'm sorry, maybe a half a year ago from speaking out about the CBA. You know, they have rules in place to keep them quiet. But bottom line is, behind closed doors, um, they're not getting along. The revenue sharing isn't where it probably should be. And in all businesses, especially a nine billion dollar a year business. Uh, they're attacking the players. They're attacking the employees. The low hanging fruit. We don't want to share more. We want to open up our books to each other. Uh, so we'll take it out of the hides of the ones that actually got us to where we are. You see, it makes.